Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of July 24, 2016. A new hypothesis on the extinction of dinosaurs and ammonites at the end of the Cretaceous period has been proposed. The researchers believe that massive amounts of stratospheric soot ejected from rocks following the famous Chicxulub asteroid impact caused global cooling, drought, and limited cessation of photosynthesis in oceans. This, they say, could have been the process that led to the mass extinction of dinosaurs and ammonites. Ammonites are an extinct group of shelled marine mollusks and were an important food source for large marine reptiles like mosasaurs. While it is widely accepted that the Chicxulub impact caused the mass extinction of dinosaurs and other life forms, researchers have been stumped by the process of how. In other words, they figured out the killer, but not the murder weapon. Earlier theories had suggested that dust from the impact may have blocked the sun, or that sulfites may have contaminated the atmosphere. But researchers say it is unlikely that either phenomenon could have lasted long enough to have driven the extinction. The new hypothesis says that soot from hydrocarbons had caused a prolonged period of darkness which led to a drop in atmospheric temperature. The team found direct evidence of hydrocarbon soot in the impact layers and created models showing how this soot would have affected the climate. According to their study, when the asteroid hit the oil-rich region of Chicxulub, a massive amount of soot was ejected which then spread globally. This rapid climate change is believed to be behind the loss of land and marine creatures over several years, suggesting that rapid global climate change can and did play a major role in driving extinction. A new species of Megaraptorid dinosaur discovered in Patagonia may help discern the evolutionary origins of the Megaraptorid clade. The Patagonian region of Argentina has previously proven to be rich in fossils from the late Cretaceous including a number of Megaraptorids, a clade whose carnivorous diet gave rise to their name meaning giant thieves. These medium-sized theropod dinosaurs, including the South American Megaraptor, have characteristically large claws and air-filled bird-like bones. The fossilized partial skeleton of a Megaraptorid dinosaur analyzed in this study was discovered in Sierra Barossa in northwest Patagonia and represents one of the most complete Megaraptorids found, with an unusually intact brain case. With unique skull features, the dinosaur, which they name Morosoraptor barensensis, is a new species in the Megaraptorid clade. This specimen appears to be immature, but the authors suggest that the species is larger and slenderer than Megaraptor. Morosoraptor has distinctive facial features not previously seen amongst Megaraptorids, as well as unusually shaped hip bones. While phylogenetic analysis could not clearly determine evolutionary relationships, the authors note that these fossils provide new anatomical information which might help to resolve current debates as to whether the Megaraptorids are a clade of the Allosauroid or the Celerosaurid theropods. It's your last chance to enter our free giveaway ending next week for your chance to win the hybrid effects Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue playset and more. See the contest video on the channel to enter and for more information. And check out DinosaurStop.com where you can stay up to date on dinosaur news, check out fun dinosaur places to visit, watch videos and more. That's all for this week. And until next time. Rawr!